Initial jobless claims, 206,000. Last week's 184,000 post-COVID low probably distorted for the, through a variety of seasonal adjustments, moved from 184 to 188. Uh, 206,000 still low. The problem isn't jobless claims. The problem is the 4 million people we can't seem to plug into these job openings. On continuing claims, 1,845,000. Definitely a post-COVID low last week. A revised subtly up to just shy of 2 million. Uh, well, now let's go into housing starts for the month of November. On housing starts, 1,679,000 seasonally adjusted annualized units. Wow, that just blows away expectations by over a million. And uh, if you look in the rearview mirror, that follows 1,502,000. So that is a huge jump. And on the permit side, uh, 1,600,000, I'm sorry, 1,712,000 seasonally adjusted units. That follows 1,653,000. So on permits, you're up, uh, what, about 3.5%. You're almost up 12% on starts. Finally, our December, the most real-time uh, data today, Philly business outlook moves to 15.4. That's half of the expectations. It's the lowest read of the year. And just to remind everybody, uh, in April, in April, this number was 50.2. That was a 48-year high. So this is definitely a big miss on Philly. Interest rates, Joe, where do we begin? So we have our curve steepening a bit. Uh, the curve in the U.K. is basically a lateral move. Uh, they did something unusual, of course. They raised rates. And the Bank of England, uh, that is, Monetary Policy Committee. And on the ECB, as everybody probably knows, you talk about kicking the biggest can in history. They didn't ease back. They're doubling the rate of purchases per month uh, to 40 billion euros. That is a big number, Joe. Back to you.